What's good? It's your boy Coach T and welcome back to the Mud Talk Radio channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because if you're into fashion, sports, life, and culture, then you're into this channel. Let's go. So I got the box right here, man. As you can see, another sneaker review, man. I told y'all, man, we going back to back to back to back. Another video. You know what I mean? So let's see what's in it. All right, so we got the box right here and the box reads Nike Dunk Low Velvet Brown and Sandra. I don't even know what's in this box, but we gonna find out. All right, so let's get inside the box, man. As you can see, you got some regular Nike paper in there, man. Nothing too crazy, but what do we have here? Huh? All right, man, so my initial reaction right here, man, on this Nike Dunk Low Red Panda, because that's what the streets are calling these, is that, you know, it's it's actually pretty dope, man. Dope, dope materials used on this sneaker, as you can see, right here on the toe box, you got that furry, hairy, you already know if you know, you know, you see that, surrounded by some leather right there on the toe cap. And then if you go to the side, side panels here, you got some more of that good, hairy, you know, fuzzy, furry, you know what I'm talking about? And then you got that Nike check that's in leather, man. I, I'm down with the leather Nike check, especially when you got all of these different types of materials. You got suede going on right there. I'm really, really feeling that, man. And honestly, one of the dope features that I'm seeing here is the tongue. If you look at the tongue, that's pretty dope, man. I wish you could feel it, you know what I mean? But you're gonna have to buy a pair. But you will see what I'm talking about. That's dope, man. How they got that set up, man. That material, I don't know what that is. If you know, drop it in the comment section. If you purchased a pair of these red pandas, let me know. And, and look at the laces, bro. Everything is going. And it's giving. How about with this hoodie? Is it giving with this hoodie? Let's go. All right, so we're going to grab the second shoe real quick. And as we always do right here on the channel, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison just so I can give you guys an honest, honest, honest initial reaction of my pair when it comes to quality control. And I'm gonna tell you right away at the back, I want y'all to see that. You see how this one right here? Like for example, let me put this one down. Look at that. You see how that smushed in? Like I can't even pull that up. Like I don't know what happened. Like the heel tab almost got like stuck. And then you got this one. That's normal. That's a defect. That's a defect coming straight from Nike. And I hate it because I really like these shoes, man. But let's keep going. Outside of that, man, I'm not really seeing much, uh, especially with all the different materials. Everything looks pretty consistent for the most part. Yeah, pretty consistent. I mean, the leather that's on here isn't like the super high grade leather but it's, it's a decent leather it's a decent leather and if you know you've read up on these sneakers if you know anything about the red panda you know you need to look up the red panda animal and you will see why this shoe is called the red panda the red panda is often forgotten about right it's the lesser panda you know because everybody think about black and white but honestly this one right here i think we got something going with this one all right, so let's get into pricing of this shoe. This price on this shoe was $125 retail price via the Nike sneaker, Nike's, Nike, Nike sneakers app. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, what was I trying to say? Snickers? It is Halloween, man. For those of y'all that celebrate, it's Halloween right now when I'm recording this video. My wife say I made her come in the house so we could record, which is not true. We was giving out the candy, you know what I mean, to the trick-or-treaters, and you know, we came in the crib, and she said, you gonna record? I'm like, I bet. There's like three boxes over there that we need to get into, and so, here we are, man, you know what I mean? So I think I was trying to say Snickers app, because I was thinking about Snickers, because we just had a conversation about my favorite candy and her favorite candy. By the way, what is your favorite candy, man? Drop it in the comment section. I'm talking about from your childhood, man. For me, it's Reese's, man. 
It's Reese's. Hey, hands down, I'm going with the Reese's, man. Any day, man. 10 out of 10 for the Reese's and the white chocolate Reese's. 20 out of 10, you heard? Give me a white chocolate Reese's right now for Halloween. All right, so let's get into styling. Man, you know, this shoe presents a bunch of different options because with it being fall, as you can see, you got that burnt orange going, you know, you got a brown sole on this joint. You got a black mid sole. And, and you know, there's so many different colors, but all of which are for the fall, in my opinion. You know, this isn't a shoe that I would particularly want to wear during the summertime. So this drop honestly was right on time. It was right on time. You can take it a bunch of different ways. But me personally, I would go with a streetwear approach with this sneaker um, and really try to make it pop. If you haven't already, go to rawmelonclothing.com. As you can see, man, hey, no pun. Hey, I didn't do this on purpose, but this hoodie actually goes pretty darn well with these pandas. And, um, you know, I would, I would definitely do the streetwear approach with it, man. Some dope, dope jeans, man. Nice oversized hoodie. And really, really get cozy and comfortable, but be super fly in this joint. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. So my overall rating for this shoe, man. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Cause I, I, I'm low key. I'm low key feeling this sneaker, man. I don't know about y'all. I don't know how y'all feeling, but hey, that's why we talk about these things on the channel because I love to hear the feedback from everybody on what you think about the sneaker, when your response to what I think about the sneaker, because that's what makes it fun. Mm. I'm gonna go seven out of 10 for the Red Panda today. Seven out of 10, because if you know, if you've been following this channel, if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, you know, that a seven out of 10 is pretty high for me. So if I do a seven or a seven and a half or eight out of 10, that's, that, that's pretty high. This sneaker deserves it. Hey man, I can't get out of here without saying a couple of different things real quick. Shout out to all the new subs, man. You know, I don't care if it's one, 10, 20, 30 in a week, 100 in a week. Every time I drop a video, if I get a new subscriber, I gotta say thank you, man, because you guys are honestly the reasons I do it, man. I'm meeting people all around the world, different states. They give me feedback on my channel. They drop comments, man. I just want to let y'all know, man, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. And y'all know the saying, man, before I get out of here. Y'all know it. Love is free. Hate costs. You've been watching Mud Talk with your boy, Coach T. I'm out. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, hit that post notification. Oh yeah, you yeah. heard it first and foremost. Go hit the like, go subscribe, go all that. All that, man.